First Corinthians 15, 31b. I die. Dead. And God said, boy, you are dead. You shake. Nobody amongst the apostles, not even Peter, can you quit with Paul? Paul died. God can only use dead people. He said, I die daily. I die daily. Every day. Die. Now listen, I'm going to tell you my, my story. When God told me that I, I will go to ministry, I said, God, you know, I don't know how to preach. I, told, I said, you know, I don't know how to preach. I just came from Egypt. I said, you know, I don't even know what to preach. So when they come up in Bible school to preach, I said, where do I start from? The child. Which kind of thing will I even preach in the midst of this people? I died and I knew when I died. I can tell you this post, 1996, where I died. Dr. Kuma said, I knew the point I died. If you want to be used in your Christian life, there must be a time you will die. Your qualification will mean nothing. Your English will mean nothing. Your, all the things you think you have, your money will mean, at, at that point, you see God in action. Whether in business, in career, in ministry. Those who think they know, God can use them. Watch the man at Deboe. You will never hear Deboe say, you know, when I used to teach, I was the best. He will only tell you in person. You can never see him take pride. You know, I was the best mathematics lecturer when I teach my floor. No, he will just tell you in person. You will, he said, when God called him, he told him to draw. I don't know why you've heard the story before. He said, you should draw something like a human being and say, you should wipe it off. Have you heard that people share the story before? He said, he said, the day misbehaved, that's how I'll wipe you off. He died at that spot. How many have ever had a lady person say, I have PAD? Have you heard him say before? <laughs> he has a PAD. Have you ever prepared it in order? I have a PAD. You know, when I speak, that man is eloquent. His kind of English is well calculated. Have you heard him say so? He's dead. You come on the altar. Even at the back of your mind is the degree you have. Who knows in this close culture to do not I know? They don't even know what I know. God says, eh? you are not dead. 20 people. You pray, 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 pray. Put all the principles to just make sure that you don't die. 50 people. So you can pay the electric bill. <laughs> God said, this man is not dead. You think you know all the principles in business? God said, okay. <laughs> you will suffer here. <laughs> you think you can preach because you, you can read? God said, you will struggle with your powerful preaching. Church won't grow more than 120 because you are not dead yet. God only uses dead people. Except a corn of wheat falls and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings it forth. Do I look like people preach? When you hear people preach, I have not started. But I'm dead. Though. I'm dead. I am dead. That is my secret. First Corinthians. You know what God is saying? When you lose everything about self, you gain God. When you lose what? You gain God. Just lose everything. Everything about you should die. Then you see God say, okay. Now at this point, you will just say in Jesus' name, this will happen. In the name of your miracles will happen. When I see some people, if you even their look would let you know that they are not dead. You see this one, I'll preach this one. I know when he became born again. Is this what I will preach to me? This one. Paul came last, overtook Peter. Paul did not meet Jesus. 
Never met him face to face. But he overtook Peter. Why? He died. Peter did not die. Peter tried. But Paul said, I died. Because I'm going to use you in a way that you will see something. May you die today. So God only uses dead people. No physical dead. Those who die to the flesh. Nothing in life makes meaning to you. You don't look at your credentials. You don't look at your background. How can I be born by an S? I'm from a royal family. To suffer like this in ministry. They're not dead though. Moses came from Pharaoh's house. Well, 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27. Are you blessed today? I mean, I'm blessed. He said, Know ye not that they which run in the race run all, but one receive the prize. <laughs> so run that they may obtain. Are you going to say now? You can, you can get the result to, let me tell you this, it's so shocking. You can get the result to a level, but to be explosive, you must die. Yes, you are an architect. Yes, you are a medical doctor. Yes, you are an engineer. Stop parading in that. It will limit you. And Deboye is a sound that time to have PAD. Not PAD that other people are getting. To get PAD that time. You know. So he would have raised his shoulder like this. You know what? And many of you have PAD when I had PAD. Not this day's PAD. You can stay in your house and get it. That time to get PAD. When he was he would preach, he would have been, have you met that man before? Meet him. You you are the one who will be you look stupid. You will use, want to use two hands. You will fall down. You want to use two hands to say, Welcome, sir. He will call you sir. I don't will call you sir. We'll call you sir. He said, I'll say, sir, sir, what? And pull your hand and say, sir, and lie down. He will call you sir. I think we'll call you sir. The small that's the man pastoring the largest church on earth. Today, on air to not Nigeria, they will call you, sir. You get one small degree, the whole of your shoulder. Every message you preach, it must refer to your degree. Message will never complete without telling the world the degree you have. God say you have not dead yet. You are not. You are still alive. I will leave you here. Then people like me who don't even know how to speak English, even as I spoke now, you can pick some tenses not too correct. <laughs> Some of our tests are not correct. Permit me, forgive me, my sins. <laughs> so you keep wondering why are we getting this kind of results with all your fantastic articulated eloquency? God so say you are not dead. This man is dead. I die daily. I die daily. Have you ever heard of Edipo? Since you've been going to Shiloh, I just finished my PhD. You know, have you heard him before? Not one day. But that doctor he put is not only the doctor, it's PAD. Doctor David Oedepo is not it's not honorary, it's PAD. Do you see title in my name? You will never say title. I don't say you should not put title. I don't put title. To put a title is not wrong, but I don't put. Because I have to die. Title can confuse me, so me, I want to die. <laughs> and then <everyone, laughs> And everyone that's striving for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as a sanity, so fight I, not as one that beat the air. He said, both. I keep my body and bring it into subjection. I make sure when the flesh wants to rise, I subdue it. When he wants to tell me things I'm not supposed to say. When he wants to tell me things I'm not supposed to do. You may not talk, but your actions will show. Sometimes not only talking. You may, even the way you move self will show the high level of arrogance. Glory to God. You know, when we went to school, and um, I made first class. Made first class. Nothing wrong going, given if the heart is right. Made first class. I know most of you don't even know how to read. When I was at school, first class. My kind of first class, I mean, it's first class. And I made it. Not all these days, you boys don't even read. First class. And with my first class, you know, oh my God. 
God said, you, you will stay here. Yeah. He said, I bring my body. Paul could have paraded himself because he has so much credentials. But he said, I subject my body to die so that these things will not affect the crown God has for me. Are you getting that simple? Die in business. You'll be the greatest businessman. Die in politics. You'll be the greatest politician. Die to serve in ministry. You'll take the world by storm. And I serve the corner will falls and dies. It abides alone. But if it dies, God has no problem using you. The day you die, God will take you up. That's why you see God can use anybody. Just die. That is the day you will see God pick you like this and put you on the rose room. And say, this one I will use you. Rise to your feet.